What's up, YouTube? Figured a quick uh, unboxing before I go to work. Um, this is actually probably it's actually the only movie I want to see in theaters last year. We got a movie our way. It came on DVD and ran and bought or whatever. And, you know, um, got on net not Netflix but uh, for files and whatever. This is the only movie I actually went to see in movie theaters last year. It was actually probably the movie I was most excited about to see last year. So. Tuesday, we know, is a big, pretty big Disney release day. You had Frozen. You had Jungle Book 2, which I've had for months. I didn't realize I got that extremely early, too. And the movie I went to see in theaters last, last year, Saving Mr. Banks. I loved Mary Poppins as a kid. It was probably, like most people that watched Mary Poppins, probably one of their favorite movies ever made. So... I never read the uh, B.L. Travis, you know, actual book. Um, I never went and read any or watched any documentaries on P.L. Travis and how, you know, all this came about. But then when I saw Disney was making a movie kind of based upon the story on how Walt Disney decided, you know, actually got the, the contract, got the rights to Mary Poppins, said I have to go see it. And... I understood the fact that it's going to be disney fired. Like most documentaries that Disney does, they're disney -fied. They're not necessarily the whole truth, but they're loosely based on the truth. And it kind of gives you a good idea on how things may or may not have went down. Um, and this was actually just a really good movie. It was a really good emotional roller coaster. You had the happy times, you had the sad times, you had the moments you went, is this actually going to happen? Even though you knew the movie came out. Mary Poppins was released on Blu-ray and actually already made ages ago. You knew this 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 contract went down, and you still question it at times. How is he going to do this? Does he actually get this done? So it was really really well done, and the fact that they touched really well, I think, in my opinion, on maybe not truly, but at least how hard-headed she was, how stubborn Walt was. Um, the Sherman Brothers, how excited they were to actually work on this film. I think it was definitely, you know, a good movie for everybody to watch. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, Tom Hanks, I don't know if he made the best Walt Disney, but he did a decent job. Emma Thompson did a really good job at uh, Pale Travis. So, Saving Mr. Banks, probably one of the biggest emotional roller coasters that I went on all year of all the movies I've watched. And you know I'm a movie holic. And this one does send you on an emotional roller coaster that you will enjoy the whole time from start to finish. You'll cry, you'll cheer, you'll laugh, you'll do everything as the movie goes on. I like the fact that they really did touch on the fact of why Mary Poppins was so important to P.L. Travis. So, like I said, this may not be completely true. This may not be a hundred, you know, accurate, but this was a good, very good Disneyfied documentary type video of how Mary Poppins made it to film. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what actually what we get. So, um, actually, before I even start unboxing it, Target list is at twenty two ninety nine. Remember this. Target listed at $22.99. There is a $5 coupon code out there, so go find it. I went to Target today to buy it. Rang up $20.99. $2 cheaper than the advertised price. With coupon, $15.99. So, you want the Blu-ray with digital HD copy? $15.99 at Target. So definitely go, go and look for this, because my Target, it rang up as $20.99. Just something to keep in mind. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to be at your target. I know my target advertised it and all the signs were in the store at $22.99. But when it went to the register, it was $20.99. Just an FYI for an FYI for you. So, anyway, here we go. The Blu-ray and digital HD copy. No DVD in this version. Just Blu-ray and digital HD. That's it. So, if you're looking for the DVD, you're going to have to go buy the DVD. But this is DVD, it's Blu-ray and Digital HD. There's your front. Do, 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 do. And on the front, it says absolutely brilliant, one of the year's best films. I agree. I agree. It was an amazing film, Saving Mr. Banks, where her book ended and the story began. And I always love this shadow figure down the bottom with Mary Poppins and Nikki. I think that's just really good. Um, 
I don't know. I should remove the sticker, but I don't like removing stuff off my slip cases. Um, on the back, you should have a uh, colorful extra content. The Walt Disney Studios from Province to Present. Let's go fly a kite and deleted scenes. There you go, you're back. And again, you know, Emma Thompson's brilliant, which she was. Tom Hanks is remarkable. Walt Disney, he did a really good job. I don't know if remarkable is the word I would use. Um, it was a relatively long film, if I remember right. How long was this film? Almost two hours. So it was a relatively long film. And it does have Disney movie rewards. And it's rated PG-13. So remember that, PG-13. So it's not going to be for kids of all ages, but it's definitely, you know, there's nothing horrible in it, you know, as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's just because there's drinking references. Um, and some blood and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely something to keep in mind when you want to watch it with your kids. There may be stuff that sh your kids may not quite understand. So it's definitely... But it is not horrible. You're not going to fall heads over heels. Oh my god, it's, you know, it's horrific graphic. No, it's a Disney PG-13. Touches on some stuff that may be unsettling, but nothing that may be um, over dramatic for kids. So just saying, family movie. Though I want to know sometimes if I let them watch it. I think this movie was more targeted towards an older generation. People that enjoyed Mary Poppins as a kid. People that enjoyed Disney films as an adult. I think that's more what this, this is targeting. Um... So, let's go ahead and, as I always do, slip inside so you can see slip cover. Here's a better picture of the shadow images that you can see. But as you can see, same fronts. And I'm pretty sure, like always, the same back. So there you go. Do, 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 There you go. Boom. Um, I am kind of disappointed it's not, it did, it's not a DVD in this version, but for under 20 bucks after coupon, I can't complain too much, so, and, you know, to be honest, I rarely watch DVD versions anyway, unless my Blu-ray player decides to act up, which, by the way, I need to get buy a new one of. So, in my thing list of things to do in the near future, is buy a new, uh, Blu-ray player. <laughs> yeah, my PS3 disc drive is dying, it may be dust, it may be just old, because I bought my PS3 when Metal Gear came out and what the PS4 is out, so... It may be that time to buy a new um new Blu-ray player. So, but it still works. It just takes a little bit longer to boot up as far as to, to recognize the Blu-rays. But that's enough ranting about my PS3 and how how much I despise it at times. So, there you go. The all uh, discovered. You know, there's your bind. You know, I just show you just in case you're curious. You know, the the binds. Oops, I hold them there are the same. So there you go. You can see on both sides. Well, except that side. That side. But whatever. Let's open you up. So I don't know when they started doing this, but this little latch on every new movie I've had, maybe it's just packaging. How they doing it? Instead of being locked in place, it's like folded under. Just something I noticed. It means absolutely nothing to anybody, but it's just something I know. So anyway, all you get inside. Is your pamphlet for your Disney movie rewards? If you saw the code on accident, don't worry about it. It's already been redeemed. So there you go. And the typical blue Disney Blu-ray. So there you go. We got the blue Disney Blu-ray. Again, I wish, I wish they put they pasted the shadow image on him. I think that'd be cool. Like I said, I always complain in all my videos about the Disney disc not having images on them, but. It doesn't affect the movie in any way, shape, or form. Just to let you know, it's personal preference and always personal opinion and preference only. But I think just putting the shadows on it would have been kind of cool. I love the shadow image. As you can see, you know, that image, I think it's just a really cool image down here with the shadows with Mickey and Mary Poppins. I think that would have been really cool on the disc. That's personal preference. DVDs did for years. Blu-rays, they don't do it as much. And I don't think it ever affected the cost. And if it did, it was so minimal. It didn't matter. So... Well, to be honest, that's really all you get in the Blu-ray and digital HD version. Um, at least you get a digital HD version and you can watch it wherever you go. Uh, uh, I recommend this movie to everybody that wants to watch it. It's a great movie. It was one of the best movies probably last year. I highly enjoyed it. I, was, I went to see it in theaters. It's the only movie I went to see in theaters last year. And if you got about 20 bucks, I recommend just going to buy it. You'll enjoy it. And watch it with your family. Watch it with your loved ones. You'll send everybody on an emotional roller coaster. Some people may cry. Some people may laugh. Some people may show no emotion at all. But it's definitely, definitely worth the two hours of your time to take to watch it. 
go enjoy it. It's a good movie. It may not be 100% true. It may have some truth to it, but it may not. But you'll enjoy it for what it is. It's a movie. Remember that. It's a movie. It's a Disney fi documentary. You remember how Disney always does their documentaries. Loosely based on true content, enough to make a really good movie out of it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will recommend this movie to the extreme. I've recommended to all my friends that when it was out in to go see it. I'll still recommend it to people to go and watch it. I'll be watching it probably tomorrow when I get off work. I absolutely did love this movie. I did buy Mary Poppins on Blu-ray when I you know when I could. So I love the Mary Poppins story. I really should read the book. I really should find more true documentaries on why Peel Travis wrote Mary Poppins, and maybe find a documentary on how Walt really went about. And I'm sure it's not going to be family. Yeah, that those won't be family friendly, but. This is family friendly. You'll enjoy it with your kids, your loved ones, your parents, whoever. I want to see it with my dad. He actually said it was really good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Definitely go check out Saving Mr. Banks. You'll enjoy it. You'll have and you'll you'll have a good time watching it. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.